Nami said they're a lost cause. Let's save ourselves. Oh, I thought he was talking about Alabaster. He's probably talking about the filler arc we just skipped. He was like, you know what, Alabaster? Well, like all the mayhem and the civil war and everything. That was an interesting place. <laughs> How are they just not constantly thrown off the ship? Yo, you so just meditate. Meditate the issues away. It's like I'm back in Syrup Village. Nice and peaceful with my beautiful future girlfriend. Peaceful village. Not an issue in the world. Oh yeah, I became a pirate. God damn it. Well, on Crunchyroll, this arc is called Sky Island, so probably a Sky Island. Oh, Robin knows about it. Robin's going to be so interesting because it seems like she knows, like, history about the world. She can tell us. What the hell was Luffy doing? <laughs> well, it's also impossible for people to be made out of rubber, so... Who knows? Oh, I could not be a pirate. I'd be like, no, nah, my common sense is way smarter than this clearly faulty device. Let's go get a new one. They're all still analyzing Robin. Shot in the head. Oh, what happened to Zoro's cool ass drip? Didn't the ship just fall though? Or I guess it could have been dead on the island and they've just now thrown it over. I'm loving the like history side of things. Like it immediately makes everything so much more interesting. <laughs> Luffy's drowning. A treasure map? Oh, a map of the island. I just thought Sky Pier was a cool, cool arc name. I didn't actually think Sky, like Sky Island. Luffy laying down the captain's demands. I don't care. Figure it out. <laughs> I love Zoro reacting. What the fuck? <laughs> what, what? Did Usopp quickly make those? Yeah, he did. I was like, where did those come from? Oh. <laughs> Bunch of sea monsters. It's all good though. Another ship. Or a band. Oh wow, that's like three times the size of our ship. Oh yeah, all our strongest fighters are in the water. Oh, Robin. Robin can probably kill them all in two seconds, though, so she's an assassin. So is Nami stalling while Usopp quickly pulls up the strong people? Yeah, I was gonna say, if they were beaten up by the Sea Kings, uh, you wouldn't have their bodies. Really, Sanji? You need a cigarette? even in the ocean. can't believe Luffy's down here. He literally can't do anything. He can't stretch out of his suit. He's like useless in the water. So terrible idea. Oh, Usopp's pumping air to them. <laughs> a feather. All this for a feather. Something tells me we're like never gonna get treasure, really. Like every time Nami's wanted treasure or almost got it, Luffy's like left it for someone else. Or we lost it, or like we did something just for treasure, but then we're like kind of good people, so then we left the treasure. Yeah, this is a wild episode. This almost doesn't even seem like One Piece. This is. I never expected them to do an episode like salvaging a ship or anything like that. Because I just skipped a bunch of filler. I didn't still choose like the last filler or something, did I? Oh, Come on, guys. Take some photos. Make them feel important. He really loves 
being recognized as a monkey. Liff, you're also a monkey in name, so maybe you can bond. Yeah, with how big the Sea Kings are, they can just get swallowed in like one second. And the journey's over. Oh, that's a scary Sea King too. Please tell him your name is Monkey. That'd be hilarious. All right, guys, it's been a great show, but that does it. We reached the end. Um, can't wait for the little epilogue that we'll see here. Love a good epilogue. Short epilogue. <laughs> Nami said they're a lost cause. Let's save ourselves. Cut our losses and go. Oh, we're alive. I thought the show was over. Since they're both monkeys, Sandy's got the idea. <laughs> they're like, wait, we're inside that? What? Luffy is really risky with his hat. Like, he was wearing his hat during that. Oh, we actually got some treasure. I swear to God, if we lose it straight away. Oh. My God. Is Laboon back or something? Because Laboon was big. But no, it's clearly not Laboon. What? All right, everyone's got a reaction face. <laughs> Whoa, okay. I was like, maybe they're statues or something. But no, they're real. I'm glad we didn't just go straight to the next island. I love all the stuff when they're just on the boat, chilling. Yeah, it's been a weird couple of hours. Oh, I was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, he's still on the ship. <laughs> Chopper just believes him. Chopper somehow the smartest on the crew. Like, he would have to be to be that level of a doctor. And yet also the dumbest on the crew, I guess. Is this going to be like backstory and history for Skypiea, maybe? Once we get to Sky Island, they're going to learn what all this was. <laughs> Luffy, your body's made of rubber. You don't need armor. Oh, come on. She's, she's going to love Robin. <laughs> Yeah. Name of the Ark. <laughs> yeah, the captain. Are we going there? <laughs> hey, Nami, Jaya, are we, is that where we're going to go? Nami, uh, you're the captain, so it's up to you, dude. But if he's got to keep saying it to convince himself he's the captain. Nami's, Nami's essentially the secret captain. Land of meat. <laughs> he just made that up. Oh my god, they actually killed and cooked the octopus. Damn, that's kind of savage. <laughs> oh, are you going to be alright, dude? Captain John. Oh, Buggy! <laughs> I love how Buggy's just staying in the story. Shall we have a party for our pretend future victory? Oh, Alvida. That's crazy. We're at episode 150 or something? 145? We're still seeing the first villain of, of their first episode. Holy shit! What? <laughs> Ace is back. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah, this guy's pretty strong, Boogie. Might want to chill out. 
Where does he have strong ace seems, but he's not even like he's not even the captain of his own. He's just like a part of Whitebeard. And with a name like Whitebeard, sounds pretty strong. You know, famous pirate, Blackbeard. So maybe the main big boss of um of One Piece is Whitebeard instead of play on Blackbeard, I guess. Holy Okay, yeah. So instead of Blackbeard, we get Whitebeard. Just as strong as Roger. And he's still going, though. Alright, well, that makes sense. The base was going to be under someone. He's under, like, the strongest dude in the show, basically. <laughs> oh, yeah, he always falls asleep and wakes up during eating. That's a lot of good food there. I kind of like Buggy's ship. I so love we get catch-ups on the other pirates. So good. Huh? Yo, that's... Yo, that's cruel. Even if you don't like him. To leave him overboard? No way. He's dead. He died. No, it isn't, Luffy. Like, it'll be amazing if it is. <laughs> but no, it isn't. Uh, no. You will not be taking my pants. What is this? Oh, he's acting too confident, so this other guy's going to be strong. Oh yeah, totally, bro. From all the way over here, I saw. Don't gamble, kids. Oh, the tongue. Oh yeah, because they went from Winter Drum Island to the desert so they're like can we just have a normal nice weathered island please uh well that's not a good sign <laughs> anytime they get animal luffy's like hey let's make food unless yeah i was gonna say unless they got a usopp level sniper oh it actually was a sniper Gotta get the, get the eye reticule and everything. Alright, so they're setting up some pretty strong fighters. This is good because besides like Logtown, like a lot of the islands we go to, we're like the only pirate crew. So it's like, well, isn't there like a, tons of pirate crews? Like, where are all the pirates? I don't think this guy's going to care. Hell no. We're getting the OG trio on a mission. <laughs> uh, just little stuff like that that Usopp does. So funny. Sanji, about the tea you promised. Zoro, Luffy, and Nami have such a good, like, color blend. Like, all their colors make them all look cool together kind of thing the town drunk <laughs> yeah i was gonna be like i was gonna be like why do those apples seem like snow white or something the evil witch why didn't luffy explode Oh damn, this guy's pure evil. Bellamy the Hyena. Yeah, that's a good name. I was like, is that a good name? Fighting champion. Oh god. <laughs> Luffy and Zoro got the same mindset in a lot of ways. Oh wow. Tropical hotel. This place is nice. This guy looks hella weird. See Bellamy's like first mate. Zoro's like death stare is amazing. Zoro's like, oh, my captain doesn't want to attack, so fine. Oh, they have Luffy's bounty. 30 million. That's the old bounty. Oh, that's cool. So they know he's a wanted man. 
and they think he's above him, but I'm guessing Luffy's new bounty is above Bellamy's. Is that orange juice? That's what Luffy asked for in the flashback. <laughs> Entirely opposite taste buds. Why is it so competitive? <laughs> oh, Luffy doesn't even know that he has a new bounty. Oh, interesting. He's actually worth more than three times that. Oh, big shot here. Give me most expensive drink, because I'm the... I'm the big dog in town. Oh, I just realized, like I said before with Nami, looking like she had the orange juice, being the flashback with Shanks. This is like the bandits coming into the bar. Is he going to spill it on Luffy? Same same way as Shanks? Nope. That was a bit more than spilling a drink. Why so aggressive? Oh, yes, sir. Don't touch my captain, bitch. Yeah, chill, Nami. He just smashed Luffy's head through the table. Why is Nami like, oh, why are you pulling your sword out, Zoro? He literally looks insane as well. Like, they made his face look like a psychopath. Oh. They're gonna laugh. Yep, joke's on you guys. It's real, all right? I know it is, because one of the arcs is called that. But also, because I believe. <laughs> Aw, don't make Naomi feel bad. Look, honestly, I'd probably, if I was in this world, I'd be like, Sky Island? That sounds like a bunch of BS. But Luffy's a dreamer, so that means Sky Island has to be real. Thought you'd test me by shoving my head through the bar? What? Also, Luffy, Zoro, and Nami all just saw, like, giant gods, it looked like. So they're probably gonna believe it. Oh, Luffy put his fist down? What? Is Luffy pulling a Shanks? Oh my god, he is. When the scene started, I thought, oh, he might do, like, a Shanks and not fight back. But then Bellamy shoved his head through the bar, and I was like, oh no, this is like a different, a different style of scene. Don't fight back. Wow. If I was Zoro, I'd be like, yo, bro, I'm not made of rubber like you. That was badass, though. He told Zoro not to take them on. Like, the timing of when he let his hand go was when he was talking about, like, the pirate streams are over or whatever. So I feel like, does Luffy kind of, like, like, pity him, maybe? Like, feel sorry for him or something? Like, the fact they don't have big dreams? You're not even on my... You're not even on my wavelength. You're not, you're not even in my reality. You're... Like, you gave up already. So I'm not even gonna fight you. That's kind of how it seems. But it's pretty cool to see Luffy, um, not fight back, just like Shanks. 